hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have um, kind of like a chit chat video about relationship advice um, I'm probably not the best person to be giving advice out there but um, I don't know I kind of want to like vent out my feelings and kind of like vent out like I don't know advice so yeah the first thing that I want the less people know about your relationship, the better. And why do I say that? Because not everyone who smiles at you is your friend. And I feel like a lot of us have trouble, like, getting that through. You know, like, not everyone that smiles is your friend. It's going to be like nine years that me and Jesus have been together. And obviously, we've broken up in the past for like a while. And then we've gotten back together. And... I'm just at uh, the point here is that when you're with someone for so long like you need to spice shit up so you need to have date nights that's like a key in a relationship especially if you guys been dating for like over a year you need to like plan shit out you know like go to the movies go have a dinner um fucking I don't know like go shopping together whatever the case may be but date nights I feel like are very important in a relationship so next thing I want to talk to you guys about is communication. I feel like communication is key in a relationship. If you guys do not have communication or good communication, your relationship is going to be a fucking fail. It's just life. And with communication comes sex. If you guys do not have sex, if there is no sex in your relationship, I guarantee you that that guy is going to go out there looking for sex somewhere else even if he like loves you to a million and a half because sex for guys is so important I, I've come to realize like sex is like a major key in your relationship and so is communication if you guys do not have good communication your relationship is gonna go down the dumpster I don't know communication is just key I can't stress it enough to like get my point across respect respect is something very big in relationships i feel like if you do not respect uh, one another this relationship is gonna just like it's just gonna be a total fail like you guys need to respect each other respect each other's likings if let's say um i don't know let's say like this person likes to go hiking but you're not a fucking hiking person like me i am not an outdoors person at all um, but I try my best with my partner to engage in what he likes and same with like same with him like I always talk to him and we, we have like um, we have really good communication in that sense whereas you need to engage with one another you need to if you don't like something about that he likes you need to do your best to do it or like to give him time to do it or whatever the case may be because if you do not respect what the other person likes then you know like relationship is off of two people not three not four not five not one so it's two so if that person likes to go out to the movies but you don't like movies you need to try your best to engage with each other's likings because if not then what's the whole point you know one another if that person wants to do youtube videos support that person to do youtube videos if that person wants to I don't know go to fucking China support that person to go to fucking China like do everything you can to support one another I've made the mistake that I myself I am very selfish I am like super super selfish and I always think about myself and only myself and that was my problem in the past that I wouldn't think about what my partner liked like I would just think about what I wanted and that's an issue that's gonna lead to you guys breaking up I guarantee you so just be very mindful when it comes to supporting that person and you know engaging in each other's likings and stuff like that what you did in the beginning of the relationship and there will never be an end to the relationship like think about it if you've been with someone for so long think about it what did you guys used to do at the beginning of the relationship where you guys were flirting and you guys would go on dates and you guys were like all into each other and oh my god I can't wait to see her I can't wait to see him you know like everything that you guys did just remember sorry there was like someone someone getting off their car and they're probably looking at me like what is this cuckoo doing but anyways so yeah so do what you did in the beginning of the relationship if you are barely dating someone and you have like a couple months think about it think about everything you guys are doing right now in this stage of your relationship so that you continue to do things like 
what you're doing now so that way when you're at the point where you're like two years three years or whatever and you're at that point your relationship doesn't go down the ground because it's very important to remember what you did in the first place to to get this person to be with this person what is it that you were doing or what is it that you would do and you know not suffocate your partner okay do not suffocate your partner i feel like we all need space all of us need space whether you're a man whether you're a woman we need fucking space like i can't stress it enough to tell you guys how much space especially me like i've been in a relationship for years and i don't know if me and jesus are going to be together for another 10 more or if we're going to break up tomorrow i don't know but the thing is that you need don't suffocate your partner like give him or her time if that person wants to go out with their friends hey let him be if he's gonna cheat on you he's gonna cheat on you no matter what in your face he's gonna cheat on you with his friends or without his friends you know like you just have to give that person time and be patient when you guys come to disagreements like be very patient and be very calm and just be mindful of the situation of why you guys are having disagreements because you guys obviously are going to fight but you guys need to love harder because if you guys do not remember that if you guys like if you're with the person and you're always fighting this relationship is just not going to work out it's just not obviously everybody fights but there comes a point where you realize like you'll realize okay did i do something what the fuck did i do you know like let me fix this shit and fix it communication so never compare your relationship to other relationships on social media or to others in general like I feel like nowadays with Instagram and Facebook and snapchat and fucking Twitter and all this shit I feel like people have the tendency to to compare like your relationship that you're in now with like others on social media and that's a huge mistake because we see a freaking picture on Instagram we see a freaking post on Facebook we see a video on snapchat and it's just that it's just the picture you don't know what happens in that relationship behind closed doors you don't know what goes on you know like you just see like the beautiful and shiny side of the whole relationship like you just see what's on the outside you don't know what's happening behind those doors and like it's really easy to get caught up when it comes to social media like I feel like, you know, I, I hear this a lot, like, oh, no, their goals or all oh, their goals or all oh, this and that, like, like, oh, he bought her this or he bought her that for Valentine's or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like, no, don't. Nothing is goals like they those people on social media that you see and that have, you know, like I have a lot of people come to me in Jesus and say, oh, you guys are goals, you know, you guys this you guys that because they see pictures that i post because they see posts that i post because they don't know what's going on in my room they don't know what goes on behind closed doors they don't know what's going on in my house they don't know that me and jesus fight and we fight a lot and we have really good communication too and probably that's why we're still together oh but he bought her flowers and i used to be that person i used to be that person because jesus is not the type of person jesus when we broke up he would bring me flowers every single day he would bring me teddy bears every single day he would bring me chocolates i remember i was trying to date someone else and he would like go over and like bring me roses and like try to get me back and i like that obviously i i was like oh you know like every girl likes that but the thing is that once we were back together he would never do that and Jesus is not that type of person. Jesus is not the type of person where he's going to come by me. He's not romantic. He does, he's not going to buy me flowers. He's not going to buy me. So I got the point across my mind. And I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I can't make him buy me flowers. I can't make him buy me teddy bears. If it does not come from within the person, do not make it. Because it's not genuine. It's not coming from them. It's just fake. They're just doing it because you freaking told them to do it or something like that, you know? Also, if you are just starting to meet a fucking guy and the guy tells you, I'm over with my girl, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm over my girl. Let's hang out. Let's talk. And he does not commit to you 100%. He is playing you stupid. And I feel like a lot of women need to understand this. If a guy... Is, keeps telling you like oh no like no I'm done with her I'm done it's over you know 
like blah 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 and he doesn't commit to you fully he just wants sex i'm sorry to say it. he just wants head he just wants the pee the pussy he just wants the pussy and i feel like a lot of girls are like no but he said he was gonna be done with his girl you know he said she was over with his girl baby mama whatever the fucking case may be no shit ain't over because if he does not commit to you fully 100 percent he is not going to leave the baby mama. He is not going to leave the girl he's with. He's just not. He's playing you stupid. And he wants something from you and it's not love, honey. It's the P down there. So keep that in mind. It does not let you be you. If a guy tells you, no, I don't want you to wear shorts because, you know, everyone's going to stare at you. Or, no, you can't wear heels because that's too much attention. Or if a guy does not let you be you and does not let you be dress the way you want to dress talk the way you want to talk fucking have the friends you want to have that person is not the person for you let me tell you that and if it makes you feel like shit and he makes you feel like crap it's his insecurities it's because he that guy needs to make you feel like shit so he can feel good and not just with guys it's with friendships too or with like in general but mainly with a guy like if a guy is treating you like shit is because he is so insecure about himself he wants to transmit that to you and he wants to make you feel like shit so he can feel good and if you're with a type of guy like that shit's shit's gonna get ugly and let me tell you that so sorry to break it to you but that guy's gotta go that guy's not good for you that guy's not right for you you should be able to dress the way you want to fucking dress you should be able to talk the way you want to fucking talk you should be able to talk to whoever you want to talk etc 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 teen the word routine happens a lot in relationships i feel like like being in a routine in the same cycle can lead to cheating and the reason being is because routines mean boring so a routine leads to boring leads to cheating it's just how it is so you need to change up the routine you need to give each other time take a step back and treat yourself if you are a woman take your step back stop suffocating that fucking guy let him be let him go to the bar let him go out with his friends because you know what if he's gonna cheat on you he's gonna cheat on you no matter what now if you give him time and, and you let him be then shit's not gonna get ugly i promise us women we tend to like once we're in a relationship we tend to commit fully to that one guy and it's it doesn't have to be like that you need to treat yourself go get your nails done go fucking i don't know go drive around and listen to music i know that relaxes me a lot dude like i can drive for hours listening to like music with the whole volume up and i'll, I'll just be happy but yeah, like, go get your lashes done, go get your nails done. You don't even need money, you know, like, go to the fucking park. Give yourself time, like, treat yourself. Lastly, but not least, I have another good advice or tip or whatever, and it's something that I should probably take for myself since I'm giving it to y'all, but it's easy to say, but it's very hard to do. And it's forgive and forget. The thing, the... Um, the phrase forgive and forget it's just so so hard to do and it's very easy to say like i don't even know how to start it but if a guy cheats on you and whatever the case i'm not going to go into detail because this has happened to me personally but if a guy cheats on you Forgive and forget. If you guys get back together for whatever the reason may be, whatever it is you guys are going through, whatever it is you guys are back together, forgive and forget. Because if you do not forgive and forget, you are affecting yourself. You, It's going to lead to a very unhealthy relationship. And you guys trying to work shit again, it's just going to go down the toilet, I promise you. If you do not forgive and forget, shit can get ugly real quick. So I know it's very easy to say and it's very hard to do because I myself have gone through it. But it's just something to always keep in mind. If you keep bringing shit up that happened in the past, the past is the past. Leave it as it is. Leave it there. Because if you keep bringing shit up that happened or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, it's going to become into a very toxic relationship. And whatever you guys are trying to fix now that you guys are together is going to end up in the fucking dumpster.
hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys really 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 enjoyed it and if you guys want me to keep doing more of this chit chat videos please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe in the link below 